Seth from stephaniesrockshow.com. We gotta hurry up. We gotta get in right now and go because we're gonna interview Apocalyptica. Hi, this is Stephanie. We're back with SMN News and stephaniesrockshow.com. We're here with members of Apocalyptica. Thank you very much for being on the show. Well, Apocalyptica is coming out with their new CD, August 24th, titled Seventh Symphony. And uh, you'll be located in the States touring, when is it, end of August, beginning of September? Uh, yep. It's like, like a 20th of August, we will come here. And uh, the release date was 24th of August. And you have a single out right now on the radio and you can purchase on iTunes? It's already in the radios and you can hear the song called End of Me. And there is a Gavin Rochdale f featuring. And, uh, and you have three videos. You have a trilogy of videos that came out. And who are all the celebrity guests that have joined on those? So Brent Smith of Shinedown. He's going to sing, sing the second single, uh, which is uh, called Not Strong Enough. It's a wonderful ballad. I love the way he's delivering the track. Really tempting male voice. <laughs> If I would be a girl, I would go with him, <laughs> even that I am a man or something close to a man. I'm, I'm still voting for him. <laughs> You're funny. Oh yeah, but uh, uh, as a man, I would go for Broken Pieces, which is like a third video we did. Actually, we just did it yesterday uh, here in LA, okay. uh, and uh, there's a um, lazy from uh, Flyleaf singing over there, and it I will see. be. Awesome video. I want to talk to you guys a lot about you cover Metallica, Pantera, you've done Bowie. What has been your favorite cover so far that you guys have performed? I think one of the probably things that went closest to the heart was the Rammstein track Seaman we did with Nina Hagen because that that version turned out to be just so tempting and seducing. She's a wonderful lady. You know, the, the basis and, and the starting point of Apocalyptica was when we started to play Metallica song covers early in the 90s already. And uh, we, were, we did two first albums with the cover songs and then we started to create own original music. And since that, we have not recorded any uh, met, uh, cover songs. Now it's all original. Uh, yeah, just uh, now we are releasing the seventh album. and. Uh, but still, we are playing the uh, cover songs in the live shows, and it's a lot of joy and a lot of fun to do that. Very interesting. And so you're all from Finland. Um, do you guys come over to America often, and you're doing a summer tour? Will you be touring in America or just um, overseas? Actually, it feels like we are visiting shortly a couple of days LA, for example, every month. <laughs> a lot of businesses now in here, like our record company and stuff. So it brings us often in here. Uh, we also, I think we played more, more than maybe 70 shows of the last album in, in the States and uh, Words Collide, uh, released three years ago, was first proper release that we got uh, the possibility to make the, get the album out in the States. And uh, it's really, really actually pleasant to see how people like our music in here as well. And so we get, got the possibility to play cool shows Come, come more often and uh, collect the fan base, make it bigger. And so. You already have a ton of fans. I mean, I definitely looked at your websites and uh, dedicated fans as well. Um, what separates your fans from other metal fans, do you think? I don't know. No, maybe nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just like them all. What, does anything make them unique when they come to the shows? I would say that our fans is really diverse group of people. So there is a if, if you come to our to see our show there is a young people older people metal heads classical people so but I'm most luckily uh, lucky to say that uh, most of the uh, audience is girls <laughs> so that's I'm really happy about that he has uh, a huge smile on his face if you're not watching <laughs> if you ask me what kind of audience we have I I would answer you that it's most likely Girls. Yeah. yeah. Sexy girls? Is that? No, of course. <laughs> All the girls are sexy. I love it. Do you have like a wild um, female fan story that's happened to you on the road? or? 
We are gentlemen. We don't talk about those. Ah, you don't kiss and tell. Okay, well, we'll just have to imagine. Um, and then also, you're from Finland. Um, is it hard? When did you guys grow up learning English? Or is there any kind of language barrier when you come over to the States? There's a huge language barrier because we are such a lousy speaker. But uh, of course, the education system in Finland is, is pretty cool. And uh, we have the possibility to learn English since uh, kids. So there you should learn to speak and but i think we we just didn't have any other option if we ever wanted to tell something <laughs> of what we are doing so it's been learning little by, by little on the road basically well i can understand you guys just fine so good job on that um and then you've collaborated with everybody and do you have a favorite collaboration and how was it working with Corey taylor from slipknot as well that was of course cool because uh, slipknot is a, has been uh, for years one of the very very favorite bands at least for me and Mikko. I would say that uh, my 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 favorite cooperations has been doing the bittersweet with Ville Valo from him and Laura from Rasmus, and that that's really apocalyptic sounding song, and it tells about Finnish mentality and. Finnish men energy <laughs> and a uh, gentle side of that. Yeah, I like how you say you're a gentleman and gentle side. That you and you guys are hard metal. I love. Um, I would like to point out from a cooperations that probably still one, um, the most important influence in has been Dave Lombardo, the drummer of Slayer. He has taken part for four albums already, and basically he is the reason why we even have drums nowadays in our band. Because uh, with the Reflections album, our fourth one. We were thinking when we had these rock songs that how can we actually deliver the package the best way ever and we knew Dave already and uh, he, he said to us already in the end of 90s that if ever you guys feel like uh, trying something with drums he would do it uh, with pleasure and therefore after like how naturally Dave's drumming fitted in, uh, in the thing we realized it made me to love that music. I just love that music video when you all have a cellos and you are just rocking into the Metallica and just headbanging back and forth. Who came up with the idea to have such classical instruments and then headbang and just go all out with it? You know, it's if you play metal music, you got to headbang, of yeah, course. Yeah, that's badass. I mean, that hasn't been done before. That really sets you guys apart from everybody else. Was there some certain person in the band that said, hey, we got to get into it and do some choreographed headbanging while we play? No, it's not choreography. It's just, uh, it's it's just a, it's energy. And I guess it was Pertu who started to do th that. Yeah, first. actually, it was refused. Because in the beginning, we were still sitting, like uh, more playing as a real string quartet or something like this. But then we had, the, for a long in a career, the Sepultura's Refuse Resist. And I think that was... At least it was one of the first songs where I tried to jump up and play play the thing by standing. And actually after that it has been more and more going like n now I'm I'm basically not sitting anymore at all <laughs> on a <laughs> show and time. yeah it's it it's was so a new challenge it. and of course uh, that actually the playing technique changes completely so we had to learn to basically use the instrument another time and kind of develop it into our own use. So of course it has a lot to do with the normal, the, the original cello playing, but uh, we had to basically fine tune all uh, the ways of it's making the sound. It's much more difficult to play when you are stand by, yeah. stand, standing up. But you guys are so talented, you have it down now. You can stand, say, do whatever. And wow. I, I, I would recommend to join our Facebook club. It's really cool. So go to Facebook and Apocalyptica. And Log check in. it out. Yeah. And uh, look for them this summer. You guys will be touring around and doing some fun new stuff. Thank you very much.